Welcome back. Cinco de Mayo is just two days away, and we are celebrating a little early with Dwayne Thompson from Sabrosa Foods. Welcome, Dwayne. How are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for being here. You are making my favorite food today, mm -hmm. guacamole okay. with a twist. Yes. So I'm excited to see what you have for us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. All right, ready to go. So what we have here is we have three avocados, one lime, and a jar of asorbus salsa. So wait, you don't have the tomato, the onion, the cilantro? No, we don't have to worry about cutting anything up. It's all in this jar. And what's the unique thing about it is it's actually made with roasted bell peppers. Are you kidding me? Very little tomato. So uh, how did this come to be? Why are you doing it like this? Well, I, I started it in college. I actually have an aversion to tomatoes. I get acid reflux and heartburn really ah. bad. So what I did is I made a product that kind of helped me reduce the acid reflux. So we kind of flipped it up a little bit. We used the bell peppers, we mm -hmm. roast it, we add in cilantro, parsley, garlic, and then we preserve it with a um, balsamic vinegar. Whoa! All natural ingredients. And it's red peppers, right? The yes. red bell peppers? Yep, red bell peppers. Okay, well let's, let's make it. I want okay. to see what you have to do here. Let's go for it. So what's the best way to slice an avocado, by the way? What do you I do, do it vertically, horizontally, which way? What I do is I just go vertically, mm -hmm. just, just go around, okay. around here, around, and I just open it up that way. Nice. Okay? And, you know, most people, to do it the proper way, we use a spoon. I just use two thumbs. Oh, no way. And Look I at you. Wow. So you get dirty when you do I, this. I do. I get dirty. That's the whole fun about this thing. <laughs> I pull the seed out. I take it. And just push Is it, it true you can plant the seed in your yard and Let grow Let me tell you. Avocados? I've tried to plant the seed. <laughs> I've never had any success in doing so it. So nothing grows back when you've tried I've it. I've never seen it grow. So Okay. So as you're doing that with the avocados, tell me a little bit more. You said this started in college, your mm -hmm. idea for all of this. But what really sparked it? Well, what really sparked it is one day when I was uh, <laughs> playing a football game, I played for Virginia State University. Mm -hmm. And when my grandmother used to grow all this fresh produce, she was from New Produce, Virginia. And what she would do is she would grow it, and then she would bring me fresh produce up on the weekends. Oh. And one particular weekend, we lost a football game, and my uh, my roommate, who didn't play football, took all the produce to the to his uh, dorm room. Mm -hmm. And after the football game, we uh, we went to went to my room, and all the fresh produce was gone. <laughs> it was gone. Yeah, guys had come to the room and eaten up all the produce. Well, that's not nice. Yeah. So so yeah, and uh, and I was upset. So we didn't have anything to eat except there was some bell peppers, um, there was some, uh, I think a bag of chips and mm -hmm. some, uh, some extra things that was there. So I ended up making um, a salsa. Yeah, that goes in last. All right, let's get to the salsa or the lime next. I want to make sure we have time to finish this. Yeah. So you, that's how you started this. So you're like, okay, I'm just going to do the salsa. Yeah, yeah. And um, what I ended up doing is I used to get acid reflux really bad from tomato-based salsas. Oh. So I made a bell pepper salsa. Well, mm -hmm. I didn't have anything with bell peppers. I made it and found out that I didn't get the acid reflux. So I figured, really? Yeah. Let me smell this. Yeah. Mm. And it's roasted. Ooh. So very easy guac. Take a jar of salsa, half. About half okay, there. so you do that, and then what about the lime? We we actually mix it up first. Oh, you, the lime's already in there? No, the lime's not in there, but I like to. Oh, mix you, it oh, up you oh, you have a method, a yeah. method to your madness. Exactly. <laughs> so I just fork, fork mash it here. Okay. Oh, uh, let's cut this in half. You do that. What did your friends think of you making all this salsa? You know stuff? what? I still get um, emails, Facebook posts, all kinds of stuff. They can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> so let's squeeze a little lime in here. A little salt and pepper. And there you go, so the camera can see what you're doing there. Mm -hmm. And then you wrote a book about your I did. I get so many, so many questions about how we started this product, and then other people who want to start a product asking questions about, okay, how do I start a product? Mm -hmm. So um, we've been doing this now, actually this year it'll be 16 years that we've been making this product. So I took all those things that happened from 16 years ago, and I included them in one book. Really? Yes, oh, good for you for doing all this stuff. You've obviously yeah. gotten very successful from your passion for this, yes, which we, I think is had, phenomenal. Yes, we've had and a lot of good success. I'm gonna, let's put this um, in a pretty bowl here yeah, absolutely. so we can try it. So, little, <laughs> so it looks good. And You like your guac a little chunky? Oh, yeah. I love it chunky. Great. And where can people get the book and the salsa? So the book is available online through Amazon. The salsa is available um, at different stores across the, uh, actually across the country, but locally mm. here, we're located at the Five Points Community Five Point uh, mm. Market, which is here in Norfolk. In Hampton, if you live there, it's at the Virginia store. 
Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, we also sell uh, a lot in Richmond at Elwood Thompson's as well. And there are several other places. Very good. And this is more a little more smoky than regular salsa. Right. It's not That's exactly the, it's, the same. It's roasted bell peppers. That's awesome. Guys, right. this is delicious. You've got to try this salsa. Thank you so much.